Kyle Cowdery joining me now from the National Ability Center. We were just talking about their huge charity event coming up next week, several days. Still time for you to get involved, but first remind our viewers what you do at the National Ability Center. Sure. So I'm the new events associate at the National Ability Center. I've really only been working here for about six months or so, but I've been volunteering for the organization for four or five years now. So really familiar with the event and love the organization and what we do. Why did you want to be part of the organization? Um, you know, it's, um, it's all about getting people outside, in my opinion. Um, so I love just getting people involved in nature, getting people outside to recreate, no matter what your ability. Um, the National Ability Center um, is great because it just speaks to so many different people on different levels. Do you, you know? feel good going to work every day? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there are still bad days, don't get me wrong, but um, no, it's, it's really great to be working for something I'm passionate about. It's inspiring, right? And if you would like to help the National Ability Center, this is such a great event. The Red, White, and Snow starts March 4th and it goes through March 7th. What happens next week? Sure, yeah. So, um, Red, White, and Snow is the National Ability Center's largest fundraiser. There's five different events sort of wrapped up in the umbrella of Red, White, and Snow. Um, first off, we have a kickoff concert this year. Um, that's brand new this year. It's taking place at OP Rockwell. Um, you can still get tickets for that one. Um, Donovan Frankenreiter is playing. He's really similar to Jack Johnson type okay. music. Okay, and that's such a fun venue, the top of Main Street there in Park City. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so that's a really great experience, um, really good way to introduce yourself to the Red, White, and Snow um, event that we have. There's also a pre-concert wine reception that happens, so we're bringing in that theme of um, wine for the whole weekend, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, the next event that takes place is on Thursday. It's our uncorked event, so it's a wine-themed party. It's a tasting. It's a chance for you to actually meet the vintners that you love so much. Um, and then the next day is Wine on the Mountain, arguably our most fun party. It's an 80s-themed ski party um, up at Deer Valley, so that's a lot of fun. And we just peeked at the weather, and it's gorgeous the entire week next week. We're hoping, hope so. anyway. Yeah, hope so. Um, it's really notorious for absolutely dumping um, during that really? weekend. So, so maybe yeah. we will get snow. Yeah. <laughs> if, we'll get yeah, if history more. is any indication, I would assume that we'll get so snow. So, by the way, mention to people, do you need to buy tickets to the whole thing, or can you pick events? So, yeah, we, we do require that you pick events in order to Kay. attend. And you can obviously find all of these tickets at redwhiteandsnow.org. Really easy there. And the last day, by the way, Gavin DeGraw, if you love him and his music, he's going to be performing, and the M MC is Scott Wolf. MC who is Scott Wolf, yeah. Such a nice guy, Park City guy mm -hmm. that is there helping out the National Ability Center. To buy tickets and find all that information, everybody, do go to our website. We'll link you, abc4.com slash midday. That's their website, so you know you're in the right spot. It is the Red, White, and Snow event kicking off that first week of March. Kyle, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. For being here. Brian, over to you. All right, thank you.